Hello, boys and girls. You guys think Kevin's voice is still <laughs> trash. Do you know what? You guys need to stop praying for me. The issue that we're having here is that you guys are actually not that spiritual. Mm. I'm telling you, including you. <laughs> You're crazy. And so it's because of the, your lack of spiritual vibe mm. that my voice... Because if I had an audience that was a brain audience, she'd be my voice would have come back by now. Instead, look at it. That time they told you to drink anointing oil, you refused. So that you vomit everything inside <laughs> of you. A few weeks later, see what happened to your voice. Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a fact. There was a time my mommy wanted me to drink anointing oil, and I told her I wasn't going to drink it. Now, and see. so it could be a connection to what's happening. When I get, she left it in my room. When I get home, I'm going to drink it. Okay. Other than your voice, how are you though? I'm I'm not fine. My voice is a big part of like my whole vibe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Even my men that have been lying that the voice is sexy, they're complaining now. That's <laughs> right. We've been saying this for like one week. It's not time for you to leave. <laughs> leave this thing one said it's because I'm talking to other men that this has happened to me that he has put things in place he has put voice magu exactly <laughs> but anytime I talk Vocal to any magu. other man bam that's when he knows I've been in the streets <laughs> that I should continue so today we have a fun thing I don't know if you guys watch The End so there's a there's a thing called Skin Deep it's not a sexual thing okay because I know that's what some of you are thinking it's not cleanse your mind there's a thing called Skin Deep and they do this program called The Hand. It's on YouTube where like two strangers sit opposite each other and they ask each other questions from a pile. Anyway, you can buy the card game, right? When I was in a relationship, I bought all these things so that we can be playing, get to know ourselves. And guess what? The relationship ended. <laughs> sure you see. Sure you see. But you'll be there asking men wicked questions. You now go home and be thinking, ah, and I don't like this girl. Which kind of trouble is this? Sure you see. Anyway, I bought all the card games, like, so we can be asking us those questions. So, we're gonna, me and Jola are going to play that today. It's a friendship game. We're going to see how, it's not really how well we know each other. We're, we're going to know each other better. We're just going to discover more okay, very good. about each other, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. As if I need to know any more about you. <laughs> but before we get to that, as usual, you, you guys have, have problems, many problems. And so we're here for you. Yeah? That we are here to solve. First question is from somebody called Michael Jackson Singlet. I'm sleeping with my cousin. Now, before you drag me, hear me out. I'm 29 years old and I was born and grew up in Lagos. I recently relocated to Abuja because I got a really good job offer. Also, let me just add that I came out of a four-year relationship, so I was really looking for a fresh start. A friend of mine invited me to a house party and I met this really attractive woman. One thing led to another and we had sex in the bathroom of the party. We proceeded to have sex a couple more times over the course of two months and then I realized I was actually starting to fall for this babe. This whole time, he had been purely no strings attached casual, casual sex, but I decided to take her on a real date to get to know her better. We had so much in common, and then I find out we're from the same village on my father's side. Wow, I thought. What are the odds? It's a small world, though. Omo, I was about to find out how small it really was. Everything was going great until she showed me a picture of her father. When I, t- <laughs> when I tell you, my food hooked in my throat. <laughs> people, people of God, who did I see on her phone? <laughs> hey God! You may be the one girl I'm falling for. Oh wow! You're yeah, my cousin. Who did I offend? <laughs> it was my father's younger brother, aka my uncle. So apparently, my uncle had a whole different family in Abuja that he hid from us. Hey I was so disgusted and angry. I'm going to be honest. A part of me still wants to pursue the relationship with her. Am I crazy for thinking this? I'm crazy about this girl. I'm going. <laughs> also, how do I deal with my family? We are here to share this information with the rest of the family. How do we navigate this? I'm so confused right now. I really want to expose my uncle to his wife, but I also want to keep this thing low key so I can't keep seeing my cousin. I hate calling her that. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Sidebar: We had intercourse even after finding out this information. <laughs> Okay, FK, you can start dragging me. Thanks, guys. I love the podcast. First of all, Michael Jackson's singlet. You know, once you chose that item of clothing, I knew that your case can never <laughs> be progressive. You said you are sleeping with your uncle. His cousin. Okay. But he only he didn't know she was his cousin because his uncle no, has... No, no, no. He knew. After he knew, <laughs> they, still, they still removed their pants. <laughs> Inside the family. They still removed their... Their family, yes. So I want to understand when ah! you guys when you guys are sleeping with each other. When you now saying cousin Bisola, <laughs> I so much enjoy you. Or what? <laughs> are you no? Are you insane? Singlet? 
Oh, I got a text from my ex. You mm. see? You are not okay for using that Yoruba Muslim reference on air. Okay, so, I said so I'm can not, you see? I'm not doing anything. I really Yoruba think Muslim we should again. stop talking about her exes on there air. Is to, I'm not finished though. <laughs> I'm still from time to time. Let me say something. That guy claimed that he's an engineer. He said he did electrical engineering. One day my mommy generator spot. I said, come and help me fix this thing. See, I should fuck off. <laughs> That that's not what you studied in school. <laughs> right then and then, there and there, I should have known that this relationship cannot go anywhere. Another time, pumping machine sports. I said, hello, babes. Can you come and fix my mommy's pumping machine? He said, if you yeah, slap me, he dropped the phone. Again, right there and then, I should have ended the relationship. I did not. We continue washing ourselves for years. It's your and fault. then again, if you people see any Yoruba Muslim man that studied electrical engineering, don't answer. It's not useful and you will not end the marriage. What will you be getting for your trouble? It's too foolish text. <laughs> foolish text. Anyway, okay, what would be your reaction if you find out I'm getting married? Like you see it on Instagram and it's you are impossible. not there. It's literally impossible. How? Your mom will say something. At this point, grandma knows me now. So grandma will say something. You think, we definitely you think they'll phone you? Say something. No, even if they don't phone. No, Auntie, excuse me. Auntie Echo and I have deep, meaningful conversations on Instagram. What? More meaningful. And I also have told us to stop commenting on people's Doesn't stories. Matter. Anyway. Honestly, people are always sending me screenshots. My mom has done thumbs up to their <laughs> What the hell? Do you get? She always has me looking good. Like, what's going on? Whatever. Faye Kemi, what is your worst memory of high school? <sighs> Man. Do you mean this last school that I didn't go to? Or... Either the one, other one, one that I went to. Because that school that I didn't go to, there were bad memories. Actually, I remember my worst memory of high school. This actually made me a bit emotional. I was in German class in that school that I didn't go to. I still know how to say one to turn in German. Actually. In Ibado. I didn't go there anyway, but in my dream, I was in this class and we were having German. And so what happened was, I don't remember the story very well, to be fair, but I remember this moment and it was the worst like I actually still think about it when I see some of their foolish faces on Instagram now I don't remember what happened but I came back so we used to leave school for foolish reasons okay one time we I had braces so we said we went for, for braces but silver bed opened <laughs> <laughs> and quite frankly I had to be there then Grinch party was happening in year seven and me and my brother decided actually we must be there so we left school like two times for foolish reasons mm-hmm. and then we came back. And so there was this like perception that like I thought I was more than myself mm. in school. And that actually wasn't the case because I wasn't even, I'm even more like that now. Mm. Then I was actually, it wasn't, it was just that we left school, we went to Lagos, we came back. So like non-Lagos people, it was a weird thing. Mm. The people who didn't even Lagos thought that all the Lagos people were full of shit, which we like, most likely were. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I came back to school and I can never forget this baby started drumming on the table. And this other girl, they made a song. And the song was about how I think I'm so cool. I'm not joking, the whole really? class. It was actually a jam. Was the, cl- <laughs> was the class laughing? All, laughing. It was a jam. The beat was mad. People were singing. And you know, we, we had a lot of like British Nigerians in the class. So people were giving ad libs. It was, if it wasn't me, I'd have been singing. <laughs> and so it was meant to be a joke nobody took it seriously yeah. somebody just started saying ah no now it's not this babe that she's better than us and someone just started drumming and they started singing and making fun of me and I was pretending to laugh like it was all part of it I, I cried oh, really? I wept I called my mommy. I, I went to see well, my school mother or whatever and I collected a phone like, I need to call my mommy tonight I said mommy this school I must leave today <laughs> She said, what do I mean? I said, today I'm coming back to Lagos. This is a bad one that cannot sleep inside this school. <laughs> today that all these fuck bitches. <laughs> I must, I wept. Because I was just like, wait. First of all, I'm like 11. Mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't do anything to you guys. <laughs> I went to Silverbed. I came back to just you about what's happening in Silverbed cinema. <laughs> <laughs> did I say I thought you went to do your braces I said I did the braces now but I also went to the cinema that's how they started singing it was the worst it was terrible and yeah. to be fair till date I mean I see them that, those babes I see them all the time now in Lagos I don't say hi to them properly <laughs> it's, in my, it's, it's, in my, it's inside my chest so that was quite bad yeah mm. uh, 
what was my horrible thing? I remember one time I forgot I had crushed cake. Someone gave me cake and I forgot about it. I put it in my bag and it crushed at the front of my bag. <clears throat> and then I kept my bag somewhere. And this was during break time. Oh, I'm remembering now and I'm getting hot all over again. It was awful. And then flies and ants. We're all over your bag. bag. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend at the time were not thinking, okay, so who's going to carry this bag? Because <laughs> a bunch of students were like, wondering. Like, whose bag is yeah, this? Yeah, like, what's going on? Whose bag is this? And then I, well, I just said, which dirty baby? <laughs> it was very, very, it was very, very like, I left the bag there. Who <laughs> <laughs> bag? Who <laughs> bag? After school, my mom's driver was not like, bag, yeah, that. I said, which bag? <laughs> and now I told him what happened. And I said, okay. It was so nice. You know what he did? Once. Did you go and get the bag? Yeah, he told me to go to the car. Then he, he went, went to get the bag. Then he went to get the bag. <laughs> but like, for the rest of the day, I got in trouble because I went to class. You know what's no funny? Bag. I have thought about this thing a couple of times, but I actually didn't think it was that deep. But it was deep, bro. But this thing really this bothered you. This something, it really bothered me. Like, that was the day that I was like, oh, some people don't like me. <laughs> because like, this was so early in year seven that like, Nobody had done anything. Do you get like, we didn't have time to. It wasn't even the end of first term. So we hadn't decided who everybody was yet. Mm. Like we were still in the early. It was like, I just left. I mean, before weeks, I went back to Lagos. I came back. That was all. Oh, ma. But in the, you know, in the grand scheme of school things, like we didn't have a tough time. Of course, we didn't have a tough time. Yeah. Like I, oh, man, yeah. After that, I entered into the role they gave me very well. Oh, wait. Do don't you? Don't worry. Maybe we should have an episode where people write to us about like stuff that happened to them in secondary yeah. school. Yeah, we'll do that. Because it was actually, and then the thing is, I didn't get, I never got bullied or anything because like I, some Kele, she was a head girl. She was my school, I claimed that. Some Kele, the actress. Or whatever. Yeah, so he came in school mother. How this, she saw, I don't know. This is my claim to fame because <laughs> if you ask her, she might not be sure there were like 20 of us. <laughs> <laughs> but then my brother was already there and my cousin was there and like Wally. Daddy Walls was in school. So, first of all, who are you to be talking to me? And I used to drink cold water from the senior block. You guys don't know that that was a big deal. Um, yeah, the way you are yeah, thinking about it now, I think, oh, let me yarn you At something. The time, for you to cross that water yard, to enter the senior block, where they were wearing pencil skirt. You were wearing airline skirt <laughs> or pinafore. Then they were wearing pencil skirt. And then they see you. One senior just ask, sorry, what do you say you're doing here? One, I just say, oh, no, 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 no. These are the people that have given me permission. Then I drink my cold water. I come back to my blood. Everybody asks me, where to get cold water? Yes. That was what was going on. So I didn't have a hard time in secondary school, like in a in a bullying way or like, I didn't really self punishment because I, I was a crook, quite frankly. <laughs> when visiting day came, I would pack Maryland cookies, snacks, kids cats, snacks, nutrici, Everything I was running a corner shop. So by the time they put my name on kitchen duty, I've exchanged 12 nutrition for the person that doesn't do my kitchen duty. I've exchanged ice cream day that they give us on Sunday for the next six weeks for somebody to do my bathroom duty. I didn't clean a thing. Fakemi has always been a crook. I didn't clean it. I did not clean a damn thing. Then I knew a senior had a phone and I bought them credits. <laughs> So when people come to me, I say you can twenty minutes you can call your homie <laughs> on that phone. But that box duty, they are at there. I can't go there. You do it. What? I did. At the time, I did to fetch water. Really? I'm telling you. I never got one that. girl really liked Maryland cookies <laughs> a lot. She loved it. I had a I had a housemate that a roommate for a term that was really really nice, and like randomly she would just enter the apartment and be like, "Jola, fetch your water." No, I never had that. But okay. I used to pay in goods for people to fetch your water. Yeah. Okay, we definitely need to do an episode where people write to us like the craziest, funniest, or coolest things that happened to them. In yeah. Okay. School. Next. What's next? I realize that our parents' generation in particular, they are so entitled. Like they think it's their place to like have a big I guess day. because also their parents did that to them. Did they not? My dad thinks so. My grand, my grand, my, you know, like here, here, from here, from early, they want to know what's going on. Who are you dating? What's up? My dad brought one yellow girl home. <laughs> my grandparents said this is a nice one. How are you? Who are you? My dad they said hey, this Kemi. I look forward to marrying her. My grandma and grandpa said that's a nice one. Where do you say you are from? No, Oshu State. We are in Oshu. You say Ikiri. My, my dad's not far from Malaysia. <laughs> Lovely girl. My mom's first marriage. <laughs> my grandpa and my dad's grandpa both went to UCL. 
they were bad boys there. So they it was like, ah, no, they knew themselves. However, my dad's dad knelt down to make him pay. Don't disgrace me. <laughs> <laughs> me, I know you. <laughs> this family, they don't know you. <laughs> Mommy, Momo, I'm your daddy. Please. This is a lovely man. He's my friend. Please. Please. <laughs> don't disgrace me. So that was how those ones. Well, to be fair, they, they did share. Their parents had, but our parents are even more like, I feel like their so parents the had they level just, one. They just had like, they had, a, I feel like they had more of a, where are they from? Yeah. Like, is their family, not necessarily, oh, how is he treating you? More like, do they come from a good home? Do you know, Tribal, Shamba, that kind of thing of, do we know them? Yeah. That was it. Like, if they find out that all the family is good, I feel like they were, like one of the first things that my mom thought well, should make her marry my dad was that he could dance. <laughs> <laughs> and so personally, I think we're doing a bit better. Do you know what made me laugh? I just remember, like, I asked my mom the criminal question. I'm saying, ah, Monty Gia. There was one guy I liked, big fool. <laughs> In his 20s, he was just saying, I'm going to be in the Olympics. So when your dad came and knocked, I had to be grateful. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> like, my mom, my. Because my mom is shy and quiet. So her telling that part of that story really killed me. She was like, you know that this guy really believed he was going to go to the Olympics. Pa- mom said he was pa- in his 20s. Continue to learn anywhere. Continue to share Nigerian Athletics Federation. <laughs> and you know what I was thinking? Is that okay? So this is the taste you had in That's it. at the time. This is what used to make you excited. Ah, let me tell you something. My dad used to wear platforms. He had flared trousers, pink earrings. He used to, to braid his hair back. The very picture of who they said is you not. Know, first of all, my mom and her siblings were not even allowed to. My dad has six brothers. They were not allowed to attend their parties <laughs> when they were younger. That's the person she married. So she actually, there's precedent for, what do you want to say to me? I didn't kill any friends to go to any boy's party. Iwo, <laughs> Ojebe. Then me. No, 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 no. There can't be disapproval. I have, I have proof. And then, you know, but to say, ah, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> If you don't mind, I'd like to bring out Exhibit A, B, and C about the situation that you were... Yeah, my mom was a good girl. That she were in. And my auntie tells one story that my mom's birthday, she was just there, then she saw all these Abudu boys. My dad, all these brothers, they wore floral shirts. They came to the party, they didn't button their shirts. They were outside. <laughs> she said, no, you can't enter this party. You were not invited. That's how she was walking around the dance floor. She said, hey... This is the man that we said she's not invited. She just saw who was he dancing with. My mommy. Bam. <laughs> That's how she found out that they were going out. <laughs> so at the end of the day, what, what can such, what can, can't they say it? I learned it from them. <laughs> I no, did learn it from them. I think at this point, I mean, like I told you guys before, my dad calls FK and I spinsters. Yes. So I think they'd just be grateful to see a human And he's being. quite worried because he says that we're not positioning ourselves. We're position- you know, positioning yourselves he in the way. we're not positioning ourselves <laughs> for the young men of today. <laughs> the way we position ourselves, it feels that we're in big trouble. We're in big trouble. That's what I'm So my dad wants to see a living, breathing person. All I talk to him about is work. I just last birthday, uncle just said that. We are the men. <laughs> we, there are plenty of girls here. Then John now came in and wore pink. He said, I'm the only man here. He's in pink. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you know what he even said? So John is my business partner. So John comes to tell. And John actually was not invited. He was supposed to come, collect food and go. But John is like me. He likes people. He likes talking. He started gisting. Forgot himself. So my dad was like, ah, there are no many. John said, I'm like, come on, get out. <laughs> you don't count. Because he just looked at me and said, I mean, where are the men? I said, I'm quite, I don't even know what to say to you. <laughs> so yeah. Because I mean, now I ask myself, where are the men? Where are the men? Anyway, the truth is, I actually don't think so. Before I used to be very hard on our fight. I actually don't think I would like if I see the problem coming from afar. I would intentionally go and be with somebody that Your is going to cause problem in my family. If I ever have already decided, <laughs> and I know that there's nothing wrong with him, that's actually your business. I can't lie to you. Yeah, fake but like, more I don't. I've been fighting with my family for too long, and there was as you know about my, about my own problems. Then I'll now join. Ah, no, 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 no. It's it's actually and my family. They 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 gather a lot. Yeah, it will be it's like yesterday be, we went to Fikemi's grandma. Her mom was just there. Yeah, like do you know what I mean? It's just there's a lot going on, so I wouldn't do it anymore. But if it comes down to it, ah, uh, racking now. There's no question. If you ask my mom, she'll tell you that she knows I was too much. In fact, that's the person I now by force. 
If she wants to marry someone, what do you think they think that we're thinking about? Why do they, why do parents think you're thinking about them when you're making decisions about your your own life? Like they are, they are generally they are very narcissistic. You'll be there trying to figure out your own life. They're not say, oh, they're raw. Huh? Raw what? You did not come into the equation at all. When I when I was talking to this person, I did not think. Hmm, no, been there, done that already. Honestly, so forget it. I'll do it again. 